Okay, this is the P1 paper from October 2022. It's question number nine. Uh, as we can see, it's a quadratics question. We're going to be completing the square here. Then later on, we're going to be looking at quadratic graphs. And if we just move it on a little bit further, there's going to be some inequalities as well. But let's just focus on the first part, which says, can we take y equals half x squared minus 10x plus 22 and put it in the form a x plus b or square plus c, which in other words means completing the square. So let's get started with that. So part a, we've got y equals a half x squared minus 10x plus 22. You've probably all got your own ways of completing the square. I'll show you my method. Uh, well, all of us, we have to take a half out. You can't have completing the square where we've got a half as the coefficient there. So in this case, that means that's got to be minus 20x and that's got to be plus 44 there. And then what I do is I say, look at that value there, half it, which is 10, and then we're going to do plus 10 squared minus 10 squared. So if you've got your own method and that works, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, as I say, what I do is to say, right, x squared minus 20x, and it's at this point I add on the 10 squared, I take away the 10 squared, plus 44, and the whole point of my method is that that then already is a complete square. So that's a half x minus 10 squared, and then you just have to tidy up the rest of it, which in this case is minus 100 plus 44 is minus 56. Okay, so I've got that written down as a completed square, but if you look at the way they want the answer, the C there is not got an A by it, so that means we have to actually multiply this bracket out. So I'm going to get a half X minus 10 squared minus 28. And that's just to have it in the same format as they've got uh, their answer for part A. Part B then says, sorry about keep jumping up and down. Part B says um, M is the minimum point. Yeah, I can see that. Can we find the coordinates of M? So you could have just differentiated, but because we've done all this work on completing the square, we may as well use that to do it. Sorry, I can make the screen a bit bigger now. Uh, we can actually just use the completed square bit to do it. If Y equals a half, x minus 10 squared minus 28, then we know the minimum for this will occur when x equals 10. If x equals 10, all of that bit works out to be equal to 0, so that will give us our minimum value. So when x equals 10, and as we've just seen from that, y is equal to minus 28. So that doesn't take me any extra work to do, so there's no point in differentiating and putting equal to naught or anything else like that. What does part C say then? Part C says, come back to this diagram again. Given that L has the equation y equals k minus an eighth x, I might put this information on my diagram now just to uh, help me. We've got L is y equals k minus an eighth x here. Uh, we've already got that this is the point 10 minus 28 here. And what they're asking to find is the point P there. Okay, so that's what we're asked to find for part C. Go back to reasonable size so I can show you what we're going to be doing with this one. So in this case, if we're doing that, what I am going to do this time is to work out the gradient. So if I have my original graph, which was half x squared minus 10x plus 22, if I find the differential of that dy by dx, the gradient function, so multiply by the power, take one off the power, uh, minus 10 and the 22 disappears, for my normal... where I had the line y equals minus an eighth x plus k, if that was the normal, then the gradient of the tangent is minus one over that. A minus one over that would be equal to eight. So when I'm trying to work out what that point's gonna be, if I say the gradient 
is equal to 8, that's going to give me that x works out to be equal to 18. So I can go back to my question now and say here, this is where x equals 18. And if I've got x equals 18, I can plug that now into my curve. Y equals a half. Now you can either use half 18 squared minus 10 lots of 18 plus 22. But we have already got it written like that as well. And that's a bit quicker to do. So I'm going to say a half 18 minus 10 squared minus 28. Just because that's a little bit quicker to work out. So that's going to work out to be 4 there. So P now has the coordinates 18, 4. Okay, part D, and again, sorry to keep jumping backwards and forwards here. It's Hammond's fault for making this so big. Uh, so, rather, sorry, um, C part two, find the value of K. Okay, that's not going to be too bad to do. Let's change that and call that C part two. So for C part two, because I know that Y is 14 when X is equal to so y is 4 when x is equal to 18. Let's tell them that. y equals 4, x equals 18. If I just plug that into the equation, that one up there, I've got that 4 is equal to an minus an eighth of 18 plus k. So you can just rearrange all that to get what k works out to be. k works out to be 25 over 4. And then for part D, let's go back and just look at this. Part D then is talking about um, this finite region R here and what that's going to be, what inequalities are going to define this. So remember, we had the M, had the gradient, sorry, had the X value, X equals 10. Remember the equation of the line, forgotten it myself, was y equals k minus an eighth x, so is y equals 25 over 4 minus an eighth x, and then the curve, we've got, we've got the curve as it is. So if I want to work out this region here, it's going to be that side of x equals 10, so in other words, x greater than or equal to 10, it's going to be this side of the line, so in other words, underneath the line, less than the line, so it's going to be y less than or equal to 25 over 4 minus an eighth x, and then it's going to be above the curve, so it's going to be y greater than or equal to, it doesn't matter which one you use, I'm going to use the original one that they gave me, half x squared minus 10x plus 22. So all of that then, let's put it in the right place. All of that is going to work out to be my answer for part D there. Okay, hopefully all that makes sense.